Okay, for 9a, we're solving this equation here. Now this, we're not able to use the equal basis property because a three and a two, I can't make those bases to be equal. So because of that, what I have to do is take the natural log of both sides here. So we're gonna take the natural log of, of each. So again, this is the way, reason why we're doing this process is because that's gonna allow us to move the exponent down in front of the natural log. So by doing that, that's gonna free up the powers that we have there. So if these were able to be the same, then we could just set the exponents equal, but this is different now because we have a three and a two and we can't make those bases match. So that's why we're doing this process. X minus five, we're gonna bring that whole thing down in front of the natural log three. So X minus five, natural log of three will equal four minus X, bring that down in front of the natural log of two. So now we're gonna multiply both by natural log of three. And if we do that, we get x natural log of three minus five natural log of three. We're gonna distribute that. We're multiplying this through. When you multiply the x, you can't bring that inside the natural log. That's the common mistake that I see here. You're not allowed to bring the x inside there. It's gotta remain outside like this. So you can't take anything inside natural log. Uh, same thing goes with the negative five. The five, you can't multiply that by three. It's gotta stay on the outside of the natural log when you multiply those. We're gonna repeat the same process here. We're gonna distribute the natural log of two into each. So again, four times the ln two, you can't take four times two. You have to just make it four natural log of two on the outside, and you have minus x natural log of two left over uh, after that. So we're distributing both of those. Okay, now, now's the point where you wanna uh, solve it. In order to solve this, we have to get all the x's on one side of the equation. So I'm going to move this one over so that I have x natural log of three, but I'm gonna add this one over. So I'm gonna add x ln uh, two. So move that across the equal sign becomes positive. This other one, since it doesn't have an x in it, I'm gonna move that across the equal sign. When I do that, that's gonna become positive also. So I get, uh, 4 ln 2 and I'm adding a 5 ln 3 because again I move that across the equal sign. The reason why you want to get all the x's on one side is because then you can factor out a common factor which is going to be the x there and you get natural log of 3 plus natural log of 2 and then you have the rest of it and because I've factored out the x, that now means that I can divide both sides by what's in front of the x right there, and I'll get my final answer. Four natural log of two plus five natural log of three all over natural log of three plus natural log of two. On the test, you don't have to worry about getting a decimal equivalent to this. It's okay to leave your answer in terms of logarithms, and so it's fine just to leave your answer like that.